super, super excited about this. I love this drone. I did a review video on it. And a lot of people have asked me, how did you get the look of that footage? Because I had some footage in my review video. And well, I have my own techniques to color grading and adjusting the image to my liking. And so I thought, why not show you guys? So if you do wanna find out more about this drone specifically, the Air 2S, which I think is a beast of a drone, is the perfect price point and it's packed with great features and it's just really awesome and fun to fly. Footage looks phenomenal. So if you wanna check out review video, click on the card up above or there's a link in the description, but you'll find it on my channel. It's overall just a wicked drone. So um, let's just dive into some of the settings that I've changed. So I think the best thing to do is actually power this on and then I can actually just show you in my app once I'm connected, all the settings that I have. Jumping into the app, this is the DJI Fly app. I've only got like 7% because I literally just flew it, but I'm in the manual mode. If you jump up into the settings up here, there's an absolute ton of things. Whoops, don't wanna change that. There's a ton of things to change in here. The main ones you're gonna to wanna to go to are the camera. So my format is an MOV format. That's just better for editing, just for me. I mean, MP4, it's better if you wanna upload it straight away, but MOV is kind of the way to go. Just overall, it's gonna be better. And then for color, I've got D-Log set. This is just a flatter color profile. Normal does look good, but when you get on your computer and you're trying to edit, you know, like the exposure and you're trying to like color grade it, it's gonna be annoying. So put it on D-Log. You'll thank me later. You're gonna get so much more detail in those lows in the shadows and everything and especially low light you're going to get better footage if you just record in d-log it's going to help you out so that's pretty much the color grading you're going to want to set in terms of the mode you're going to want to set it to manual mode so you can change in the corner here whether it's auto or pro manual mode and then you can set the resolution i stick it to 5.4k but if you wanna use some of the master shot features, you'll have to step it down to 4K. You also cannot use the flat color profiles when you're in master shot, which is kind of annoying. So try and keep it in 5.4K. Then in terms of all the other stuff, it's gonna depend on your lighting conditions unless you wanna pick up an ND filter. Okay, so I'm in Final Cut Pro 10. This is what I've been using for literally like six or seven years now, and I'm super familiar with Final Cut. So. Let's just go into what I would normally do. So Command N to create a new video. I normally stick with 496 by 2048, gives you that nice two to one aspect ratio. Keeps it nice and wide and considering it's 5.4K, you can crop in. Boom. So we have all of our footage up here. As you can see, this one was recorded using Master Shot. So it does have the standard color profiling, but then all these other ones are gonna be much more flat like this one here. Let's just grab this footage and then we're gonna sort of get the bit we want. Command B is for the blade tool if you're curious. And then, yeah, I'm gonna kind of want all of this clip. And then to get rid of those black borders at the side and to chop off a bit of the top, we're gonna crop it into 113. I'm gonna use the Y axis here to shift the image more to the middle. And then I'm gonna wanna go and get my LUT from the effects rack. So. There's actually one now in Final Cut. You can pick up this other one by Motion VFX, um, but I just use the standard one now. And then up here, you can select your LUT. So you can actually go choose custom LUT. It's gonna pull up your files and then you can choose the LUTs after you've downloaded them. So the link will be down below. But the ones I would recommend, there's actually a Mavic Air 2 one. So that kind of pre-applies the colors for you to kind of look normal. And you can go and adjust the mixing here to kind of give you a better result. That's going to give you like a pretty average looking color grade. I don't really like it too much. Honestly, what I normally do is apply this pocket fall vibes one. Now it's going to look a bit bland, but I actually apply a few. So let's grab another lot and then we can go and throw on this one, which I really like right here. So this is the GFX 100S F log. Um, I'll leave the link down below to this specific one. And then it gives it like kind of a punchy colored look, but it has like an autumn vibe, which I like because of the fall vibe we're applying on top. So I really like that. Command six is gonna bring you this color rack up. So you can go into your exposure, you can bring down your shadows. I kind of think they're all right. And then your midtones, 
maybe bring them up a tiny bit but and then maybe mm, maybe bring the highlights down like a tiny bit i think it's actually pretty good how it is um and then obviously you can boost the saturation if you want so overall or you can adjust maybe the shadows you want to give a bit more saturation to those trees and those darker areas and then say there's maybe like an odd tint of like an orange you can tint in maybe the shadows we can grab the shadows and reduce the orangeness just like that so i really like this so far i think it looks really great i think it all looks pretty well exposed I'm not really liking over by the houses over here. It's looking a bit too bright maybe, but then it's kind of unbalanced just because of the the light at the time. If only I had an ND filter. I also have this really nice footage of this boat. So I'm thinking maybe we can grab it from about here. Again, just B, press B on the keyboard to get the blade tool up and you can go ahead and clip where you want it, then you can actually copy this preset, command C, and then command shift V, you can paste the video attributes. So all the positioning and the effects, you can paste that onto this clip to give it the same look. So if you want it to be consistent, you can do that. Or you can just go ahead and actually start from scratch. So we're gonna go 113 again, we're gonna adjust so the boat's kind of in the middle. We could even crop a little bit more and then shift the x-axis just to get the boat a bit better in the center. And then we're gonna bring on our LUT. Some, a really nice LUT is the Trent 18 one. This gives you like a really flat kind of look. So if the image is a bit overexposed or it just doesn't look quite right, it's maybe too bright or too colorful, add the Trent 18, it kind of dulls it down a little bit. I really like that. But then we're gonna apply the full LUT again, and then one more LUT on top. And we're gonna add this GFX 100S again, because it gives it that nice color. And then we're gonna go Command 6, pull up our color rack, then mm, adjust the shadows, bring down the mid-tones a tiny bit. It's a little bit bright because of the sun over there, but I don't think we're gonna beat that. I think it's going to look like that no matter what. Bring up our saturation a pinch. There's kind of a greenish tint going on in the shadows. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit where the green is. And then that looks, uh, that kind of looks pretty good. So that's before and that's after. So it just kind of brings it that autumn kind of look a little bit more. I really like that autumn look. But yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how I color grade and get my footage from the DJI Air 2S looking like it does. So you just need to like crop it a bit, make it a bit wider. You can sort of zoom in, reframe. Don't be scared to reframe after you've actually taken the video. That's the whole point of having the high resolution on the drone. So crop in, make those adjustments, reframe, re-angle it, change the rotation, get it correct, get it like positioned how you want it, then add your lot then you want to go and adjust your exposure, your color settings. You can even adjust your hue if you want. If you want like a slightly different color than what it captured or what the LUT's applying, then yeah, don't be afraid to just adjust the hue a tiny amount. It's going to look not quite as realistic, but that's what makes cinematic footage what it is. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos on drones in general and some tips, let me know because I love making videos on this stuff. So uh, yeah, and if you're keen to show me your results, you can definitely let me know in the comments down below, but I'll see you guys later. Enjoy flying and enjoy editing. Peace.